What's up guys? It's Ben 10,000 Y Joe, your friendly neighborhood Yu-Gi-Oh! superhero, and today guys, I'm going to be bringing you a little bit of a lighter topic video. Ish. Maybe a bit trolly. Stick around. Alright, so the last video I did, you guys uh, gave me, uh, it was, it did pretty good. I was actually surprised for the topic. I thought that it wouldn't get a lot of views, and it didn't get as many as I thought it would, but it definitely got a lot more viewer retention, so I know you guys really do like it when I do discussions, but since the last topic was a bit on the heavy side, I decided I want to kind of reel it back a little bit and come back with a little bit more on the light side. So I'm bringing you guys... Uh, a deck profile video this is going to be what I call my virus plant deck um, I'm really excited to showcase this this is kind of like one of my weird like one of my harebrained scheme decks uh, uh, you know Jesse of team FDK he, he he and I can relate to this we're kind of we are on the same vein when it comes to this uh, we are very much like I wonder if I can combine this archetype and this archetype and see what shenanigans happen so that is what I'm doing in this video today. Um, it may also, just FYI you guys, I, I may be out at the time of you guys seeing this video, so I may not get to reply to you right away, but still feel free to leave comments. You can still do that. I just may, may not be able to reply to you right away. Now, without that being said, if you're new here, this is how we do things on the Ben 10,000 Wide Geo channel. Uh, we have this little conversation here at the front. I'm gonna throw some replay footage here in the middle. And then towards the end, you will see, uh, we will have the deck profile, and then I'll discuss, you know, combos and all that good stuff. So, without further ado, let's hop into those replay footage. See you on the flip side.
there you have it guys this is my virus plant deck now you guys are thinking okay so your decks a little wonky so do some explaining okay so one of the funny things about this deck is uh, my ultimate goal is to basically end the board with like a bunch of tokens and a stardust dragon and obviously a layer of darkness and then of course as the duel will go on we will tribute my opponent's stuff to do st crazy things like i know you guys didn't get to see it in the replays but like one of the funniest things i like to do with this deck is use enemy controller with it because like i'll tribute one of their monsters to take one of their other monsters and it's hilarious uh, I got, there was a Cyber Dragon player I couldn't get the replay footage for because he got mad at me and he rage quitted so I couldn't get the, the replay footage, but uh, <laughs> he was like, do you just play this deck to piss people off? And I'm like, mostly just to annoy the, uh, you know, the overzealous players on here, but, you know, uh, they, yeah, I kind of pee <laughs> peeved him just by playing this deck, and I, and I get why it's frustrating, but when something's effective, you got to admit it's effective. I mean, I don't like Sky Strikers, but it's effective. So, <laughs> uh, so this this deck is just really it's really simple. Really, it's just you know it's like a little pre plant engine, and then of course you got Lone Fire Blossom, which hilarious. It turns it's a dark monster under layer of darkness, right? So you get like three tokens at the end of the turn. It's hilarious. Um, if I had better Link monsters available for this deck, this this lineup would be like you could do all sorts of crazy stuff with this. Like for example, if I had like a Boral Sword or like a, a Boral Load Dragon or something like that, like you could easily make that. Like, um, we have uh, Destrudo in here to go to our level sevens. You know, that's just kind of easy. I don't know. It's just kind of in here for that because it's also searchable off of uh, King of Wickedness here, or Ar Arima the Wicked Warden. Excuse me. Um, that's, that's funny, the, 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 I, I didn't know that, but yeah, he, he can search out Destrudo, so, <laughs> it's like, oh look, I'm gonna make this. Uh, another really cool thing about this is, is, like, if you were to search this out, and like, say you have another layer of darkness in your hand, uh, you could make Pixie Dragon and get a draw, so that's kind of a fun thing you can do. Yeah, I don't know wherever that would be, like, really all that useful, but that's kind of fun. Um... We got our various virus cards. I just use the ones that I think are most applicable. So, uh, Deck Devastation Virus uh, to kill out weenie monsters that are usually used in a lot of the Link decks. Because, you know, there are a lot of the Link based decks, all their monsters are rather small. So, they, you know, because that's usually how they do it, they spam a bunch of monsters. So, the idea was like, okay, I'll use Deck Devastation Virus and then I will destroy all the weenie monsters before they even come out. And then we got Eradicator Epidemic, because this says screw you to spells and traps, just depending on what you need. Uh, Dark Light was strangely useful. Like, I thought, didn't think it would be that useful, but like one of the cool things that you can do is you can tribute uh, when you, one of your dark monsters. Uh, and then just, oh yeah, destroy all of your stuff, and it's kind of hilarious. Um, and then of course we have, uh, you know... Darkest Diabolos, the dragon that can't be targeted, so that's very useful. Um, Rage to Return to the, uh, back to the front is very is kind of fun because you can bring back Lilith and she'll be at full strength. And then another thing you can do is, because we do play an instant fusion, so we can go into Stardust Dragon to protect the field spell. Uh, we also can use that same instant fusion to go to Thousand Eyes Restrict. And that is that has actually been useful more often than not because like I'll just throw out the thousand eyes and then watch my opponent scream because I can't attack and then I just start absorbing their their best monsters or beating them with it. It's hilarious. Um, I got a storming mirror force because it's searchable off a of Lilith. I mean we went for mostly we got a solid trap lineup, but we went for mostly spells because you know. And also, like, another cool thing about this deck with Lone Fire Blossom is basically you thin the deck out. Think of it like, a, you know, the old upstart goblin theory where you play a, a triple upstart and you had a 37-card deck. Basically, same concept here. It's just with Lone Fire Blossom, it serves a greater purpose of getting us tokens. So we go, like, it's like a slow plus one, or it can be a slow plus, so to speak, because tokens count as a plus, in my opinion. It just depends on how you use them. Uh, one card I want to experiment with using it here, maybe later, is Princess Titanial. Uh, I'm thinking about taking out one of the Scorpios because 
uh, it would be it would just be another way to uh, protect the field spell spell layer of darkness because she can tribute a plant type monster so I could potentially throw out like Lone Fire Blossom or whatever and go get her and then maybe later in the turn have like use the Predator Plant stuff to get like a Stardust her and and some back row to protect the layer of darkness and then they're all dark monsters while under layer of darkness so it's kind of interesting uh, this so this is my wacky deck if there's anything that you think that I've forgotten that tributes that might be fun to mess around with this make sure you put that in the comments below uh, like I said at the beginning of the video I will be getting to the comments of this video late because by the time you guys see this video I will still I may still be out with uh, family doing family things because it's uh, uh, I'm going to regret telling you guys this, but it's my birthday next week, or this week, I should say, because it'll be, you guys will be seeing this Sunday. So, uh, and my brother's birthday is the previous week, so we are going to go to my brother, so we'll be out of town to go see, uh, to go celebrate. So, that is why I would be taking some time to get to you guys, uh, so forgive me if I'm a little late, um... So yeah, I'm uh, also still in a race with the Yusei Waijio Pro, uh, and he is, uh, he, he gained, I think he gained two more subs or something like that. Well, we're still like 20 apart, so if you guys want to see me accelerate past him, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel. Uh, it's a race to 500, and I really want to win this race. So, uh, yeah. I'm Ben Tadazuagio, I'm your friendly neighborhood Yu-Gi-Oh! superhero, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.